welcome to a nice crisp fresh morning in Chesterfield we just had a frost the temperature the air temperature is down to about two degrees and the pond still sat at 17 degrees but obviously the heater will have worked a bit of overtime on that the fry vat the outside one is running at 19 stroke 20 degrees and the one inside is a happy toasty 22 so what we're going to do is we're going to take off the logger that's been monitoring the heater for the past two weeks compare the uh, readings from last year and also look at the temperatures it's been to see whether it's been cost effective but within the next week i'm afraid the electro will be gone so if anyone wants it give me a shout as we'll be swapping it for the air source heat pump stay with us and we'll have a look at the loggers yeah, it's six o'clock so it's now been on two weeks bang on so stop the logger that's the logger off so now disconnect it and the heater's just kicked out I've just unplugged the uh, data logger and I'm going to upload it onto the computer but uh, just give you a quick recap on what's uh, the capabilities. The data logger logs every six seconds for 24 hours right through for the 14 days so I should get a decent uh, reading of the usage of the heater. It's plugged on the heater live cable to feed to that so it'll only get the heat and nothing else the pond when i built it back three years ago has got the nine inch blocks laid horizontally so you've got nine inch thick walls then there's got a 25 mil of uh, insulation on there as well then the underlay and the liner it's also half underground well it's probably three and a half foot underground two and a half foot above ground but it's covered all the way around with stone on that side and the pipe work returns from the filter house behind underground to a midway return. The only thing above ground is a backy shower behind me that's got 25mm insulation boards on it and the pond itself has got uh, the 33mm polycarbonate 5 ply on the top. It has got air vents here and on the other corner to allow air to circulate through but it is very efficient so we should get a good read it on there. I did notice right is uh, last week when he did his he was having issues with it he was getting five six maybe seven pound a day on that but I've seen a second video and I think it's down to one two three pound I think it was in 24 hours so hopefully touch wood uh, mine's a little bit more raised than what uh, right is is but it's, it's about the same volume and it's the same sort of setup so I'm hoping for something around about two pound it's been very mild all the weather and you'll see the re weather reports later i think we've only had a couple of frosts but i'll show you that i'll show you the energy usage i'll show you the costs i'll show you the rates and you can make your own mind up i know this will bring a lot of people out of the woodwork and there'll be a lot of dislikes and a lot of uh, uh, criticisms about what i can and can't do well i'm afraid i've always said it it's down to the personal choice of the user if he wants to he can if you can afford it he can and i'm happy to do that this is the recordings of the data logger and i'll talk you through each screen to give you some sort of indication of what it is and then day you make your own mind up 
Looking at the weather forecast first, the first seven days seem to be very stable and quite warm with a low of 7 degrees up to 11-12 degrees but the second week we did end up starting to have a cup of frost and we had one day down to 2 degrees and one down to zero. The graph from the Senai uh, temperature probe shows that it was sat around about 17 degrees, there was no massive swings anywhere along the line and uh, there was no issues with the temperature. The next slide just shows the data log of the log interval every six seconds and the date span from when it starts to when it finishes. The next slide is a print screen from Bulb that I'm with and it shows that I'm on a very fair tariff and what the day units are and the night units. So I entered these uh, bits of data into the logger and you can see here where day rate is 17.37 and the night rate is 9.6 you can also add the actual times of when the night rates and the day rate starts so it gives you a proper calculation once the logger starts recording this is the data that it collates of all the readings at whichever time of day it is every 30 minutes is when it shows it and once the data is collected it then produces a graph in energy and cost in whatever format you want of what your usage is. You can also have a summary of the mean, the average, the maximum amperage and usage and what times it was so you can check and see if you've got any issues or where you can actually benefit or make any savings. And then finally the most important one it actually tells you how much it costs and how much kilowatt hours was used on nights and how much kilowatt hours used on days the cost you've already entered and then the totals £4.16 and £14.95 equates to £19.4p so all in all it was £19.12p for the fortnight that's 24 7 for 14 days so in full that equates to £1.36.5p per day to run the heater uh, or 5.6 pence per hour which to be fair it wasn't the coldest of weather and it was only set at 17 degrees but that's how much it cost to heat this pond thanks for watching the video like i said before this is a personal choice for everybody but this is how i heat mine and how much it costs to heat mine if you enjoyed watching the video please hit the like button hit the notification buttons and you'll get an email of any more videos going through but also hit the subscribe button and check out some more videos thanks a lot from a cold dark evening in chesterfield happy ponding